Hello Vera, my name is Margaret Shangeshi from Lokut Girls High School. Welcome to Science Hub. My colleague is Ini Sanjera. And today we will be discussing on reflex action. So Anjira, start us off. Reflex action is an automatic and involuntary response to a particular stimulus. There are two types of reflex action. One, conditional, the other, simple. In simple reflex action, this is an involuntary quick response to a stimulus without conscience thoughts. Simple reflex action include sneezing, salivation, coughing, and knee jerk, and removal of hand from a hot object. In Impulses sent to the nervous system follow a reflex act. During a reflex action, now this can be represented as follows. So this can be represented as follows. From the receptor neuron to the sensory neuron to the central nervous system, then to the motor ne neuron, then back to the effector, then to the effector organ which receives the stimulus. Now the ne relay neuron is within the central nervous system as you all know. So the next one is conditioned reflex action. This is a response to an initial in infective stimulus over time. In conditional reflex action, a similar res response is made to two unrelated stimuli. This is described in an experiment carried out by Ivan Palbo. He observed that uh, he observed that sight of, of or smell of food triggers salivation in a dog. When he, had, he, when he also rang a bell every time he fed the dog, the dog learned to associate with the ringing of the bell with the, with the presence of food. The dog finally could salivate even, even when only the bell was rung without food. Now, as she said, examples of conditioned reflex act. Uh, action include uh, working, playing, cycling, writing, swimming, and driving. Now we're going to show you the difference between a simple reflex action and a condition reflex action. Now a simple reflex action
A simple reflex ac action is simple, gives simple stimulus to bring about response. Just from the name, simple. Now, a conditioned reflex action is repeated stimulus to bring about response. That brings about response. Now the second one is simple, simplest form of behavior and is independent. For the simple reflex action, we have independent of experience. Independency of experience. Now, for the conditional reflex action, just involves modification of behavior and dependent experience. So this one is dependent experience. In the simple reflex action, the sensory and motor components are the same at all times. But the conditioned reflex action, the primary sensory component is replaced by a secondary sensory component, but the motor component remains uncharged, unchanged. Now that brings the difference between simple reflex action and conditioned reflex action. Now we'll now move on to effects of drug abuse. The drugs that are abused have highly addictive and advanced effects on the brain. They include mirror, alcohol, bang, tobacco, cocaine, and heroin. Now the general effects of such drugs include depression, false confidence, memory loss, and artificial happiness. So we now look at the types of drugs and their effects. The first drug is mirror. Its, its effect is false confidence, for, uh, cons 
bad smell of mouth, insomnia, poor judgment, depression, and pure, pure dilute sem, uh, production of semen and sperms with a big head and curved tail, hence cannot move to fertilize an ovum. So, definitely, Mira is not a drug to be taken. Marijuana, it causes detachment of, from reality, and it also leads to double vision and hallucination. There, there is loss of understanding and integration of times and intervals. Alcohol. It slows, the, it slows down the transmission of impulse across the synapse. It causes liver damage. It builds false confidence. It results in memory, lo memory loss. It reduces brain size from 1.2 kg to 1 kg. It can lead to addiction. It affects the cerebrum, resulting in staggering. With research, we have seen that tobacco causes lung diseases and respiratory disorders. It also causes insomnia, that, that is, loss of ability to smell. It also damages the neural system. We have nicotine. Nicotine causes coughing and wheezing, inflammation of the lining of the respiratory tract, headaches and insomnia, respiratory disorders such as emphysema, emphysema and it also causes increased blood pressure, high risk of cancer and undersized and undeveloped babies. Heroin. It causes weight loss, heart and liver disease, respiratory problems, hallucinations, muscle pains, abdominal cramps and uh, depressing, depressed breathing. Now cocaine causes, some of the effects of cocaine are nervous disorders, high blood pressure, respiratory problems, increased heartbeat, memory problems, hallucination, and finally, depression. We've come to the end of our discussion today on Science Hub. I have been Margaret Wangeshi. Eunice Keep it Elimu TV, watch and learn.